Welcome to Mount Rushmore National Memorial. We made it. Again. I love it. It's my favorite. Welcome to Nebraska. North Platte River right there. If that sounds familiar, it's because it probably does sound familiar as being part of the Oregon Trail in this part of the country. Yeah, you only crossed it like 15,000 times in the game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew. Hi, I'm Susan. Together we love to travel. The saying goes, life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, 2020 dealt us the biggest lemon of all. Except being selfless about it, we made the best lemonade ever. An epic road trip! So you're probably wondering why we're stopping here on the side of the road to take a look at some rocks. But out there in the distance, you will see courthouse and jail rocks. Why are these important? Well, these are two of the most famous landmarks along the Oregon-California Trail, the Mormon Trail, and the Pony Express Trail, and the Sydney Deadwood Trail. So many pioneers would see this in the distance along their travels. historic site and Scott's Bluff National Monument. Chimney Rock, which is over there in the distance.
So here at Scott's Bluff National Monument, we decided to take the road up to the top of the bluff and see the sights from up there. The road goes through several tunnels and meanders around the outside of the bluff till you reach the top. And the views are incredible. So enjoy the drive up to the top of the bluff. So there are not any amenities at the top of the bluff except for some garbage cans and a couple benches and information. There are several tra trails you can walk up top and there's even a big trail that leads you all the way down to the visitor center if you're so inclined to go down or if you wanted to hike up from the visitor center to the top of the bluff. That is the road that we took to get up here.
Adjacent to the visitor center is a path that leads out to several displays of covered wagons. These wagons re are replicas of the ones used on the Oregon Trail and other trails that pass by. If you continue out on the path, you will actually get to where the Oregon Trail ran, right next to Scott's Bluff. Okay, so we are on the way to Fort Laramie National Historic Site. Uh, we have about an hour drive before we get there. And we're going to get to explore a few of Nebraska's back road highways. Woohoo! So we're about into Morrill, Nebraska. And as you can see, we are definitely in farm country. We got corn over here. Some other kind of crap over here. We've seen cows. We've seen cows. That looks like lavender. That looks like more corn. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting drive. It's very warm. It's 93 out. Kind of the warmest of our trip so far. Yeah. So our stay at Scott's Bluff was a lot shorter than we wanted it to be, but uh, the sweat was rolling off our head foreheads. So, and whoa, um, those river tracks were very bumpy. So, okay. Left or right, sir? Left. So, uh, yeah, welcome to Morrill, Nebraska. Population unknown. I missed the sign because my head was jerking back and forth from the railroad trucks. Okay. We're fine. It's fine. Everybody's fine. Coming up next, Wyoming. Woo! Welcome, Welcome back, back to Wyoming. Wyoming. So we're here at the uh, Wyoming state line, and they had this uh, really cool Oregon Trail marker here. Um, put up by the Landmark Commission of Wyoming, recognizing that this was where the Oregon Trail crossed into Wyoming, at least three miles south from here. But this is the only major highway in the area. And when we pan around, we see the sign. So we just arrived at Fort Laramie, Wyoming. Um, the town of Fort Laramie was actually the very first settlement in Wyoming, um, along with the Oregon Trail Fort that um, protected pioneers as they went across the trail. So we're gonna go check out the fort. <laughs> 